Back in early 2016, Red Dead Redemption 2's world map was leaked. This would be confirmed real by Tech Radar, and from all the trailers and images we've seen from Rockstar Games, almost everything looks identical to that leaked map. Obviously, there has been some changes made, like the name of New Bordeaux to St. Denis, and the Heartlands now being called New Hanover. Additionally, certain regions and scenes coming from the first trailer look much different in the recent gameplay trailer. Anyway, there's been a long debate about how authentic this leaked map is, is, and as we discussed the other day, there is a mysterious desert region which looks like it is not connected to the main map of Red Dead Redemption 2, meaning the map is not entirely accurate and is actually somewhat bigger. The question many have been asking is how much bigger can this map actually get? Well, recently PlayStation Access made a video titled Red Dead Redemption 2 21 Things We've Had Confirmed, and at one point they stated the following This is the largest world Rockstar has ever made. And when you think about how long it takes to fly over the map in GTA 5 in a plane, and the fact that planes weren't invented in 1899, that means really pretty big. Rockstar has worked hard to make sure that even though this is the biggest world the studio has ever made, it's also full of distinctive areas and places with their own personality. They would also provide details on how human bodies will not just disappear like in most games, but will slowly rot over time, which we've heard similar information before coming from IGN, who saw the game in action back in May. Although, what they stated was that animal bodies would rot over time, and it would attract predators like coyotes. And it looks like it actually works the same way with human bodies. Now, my initial takeaway from this information coming from this PlayStation Access video was that this was merely speculation and that this PlayStation channel had misspoken. Looking at some of the comparisons of Grand Theft Auto V's massive open world compared to Red Dead Redemption 2's leaked map and Red Dead Redemption's map, it's not even close in size. But as some have said, maybe this leaked 2016 map has not been scaled properly and this does not account other regions like the mysterious island, which I originally thought may serve as a North Yankton-like location. So far we don't know exactly where this location may be, but I do think it's a Caribbean island, maybe being of a fictional Haiti or Cuba. Then we also have the desert region, which I believe is a part of a new section of Mexico, possibly being a part of a new region in Nuevo Paraiso. Anyway, I've assumed for the longest time that this world map could not be that massive, and I didn't think it needed to be. But the thing is, it looks like PlayStation Access did not misspeak, and this is in fact Rockstar's biggest world that they have ever created. I recently got in contact with PlayStation Access, and all they could confirm that what was said in their video, the information that they gave, is fact. And it should be noted that PlayStation Access isn't just some random fan site, it's an official channel of PlayStation who works closely with publishers and developers to make sure the information that they're going over and spreading in their videos is fact. So I think it's safe to say that Rockstar Games has seen this video and approved all the details that were mentioned. But yeah, I was originally against this even being possible because of the information we know. But now, I think I'm wrong and this is in fact Rockstar's biggest open world to date. Another thing to note is PlayStation Access is actually a branch of PlayStation UK. And as most of you already know, Sony and Rockstar are partnered up for Red Dead Redemption 2 with PlayStation 4 players getting online content first. But Sony has also been heavily promoting Red Dead Redemption 2, and I think a video like this couldn't include misinformation. Also, this isn't the first time we've heard that this is Rockstar's largest world, as Hobby Consolas, a Spanish gaming website who saw the game in action back in May, stated in their preview that Red Dead Redemption 2 was the largest and densest map of any game made before by Rockstar Games. Many, including myself, thought this was just a mistake, but now it looks like it was true. But if this information is in fact true, True, then Rockstar is holding back on showing most of the world, which I'm actually thankful for. Although I will say it's very interesting that Rockstar hasn't really said anything about the open world size. Rockstar North Coast studio head Rob Nelson previously said to GameStar back in May, a Grand Theft Auto map is perceived quite differently because you can race at 130 kilometers per hour or even fly. Here you are on foot or on horseback, so the players want to ride a big map, but not always forever, so they want a fast travel function and so on. You have to find the right balance and make sure that the world stays visually interesting. There's always something interesting to see, something to chase, or some place
ways to go. He would further add that size is not their goal with this game, but it is supposed to be as big as possible, specifically saying, this is not our focus this time. We want to give the game experience a depth that has never been before. We want you to go into this world, but also into it, into the cities and the buildings, which are now much more detailed than ever, down to individual cabinets that can be opened to take things out. Now, back in February, TrustedReview.com leaked a ton of Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay information, and they also included never-before-seen images of Dutch Vanderlyn and Arthur Morgan. But most interestingly, they stated throughout the open world you'll discover several locations including Armadillo and Ridgewood. These are populated with various NPCs including general store owners, gunsmiths, and undertakers. Many assumed this could have just been a mistake as these are locations from Red Dead Redemption which obviously are cut off based on the leaked 2016 map. But now, with the recent revelation, I'm actually wondering if it is possible that the entire map of Red Dead Redemption is returning, and possibly there's either more to the western part of New Austin, or more to the southern and eastern part of Nuevo Paraiso. But I had assumed that this would be the largest Rockstar game in terms of content and things to do, but in terms of size, that's a bit surprising. But it also has me excited because it probably means that Rockstar is holding back on showing most of the game. From most of the trailers and even the gameplay introduction that we were just shown, we've seen footage mostly coming from the town of Valentine, and I think that's been done on purpose so most of the game is a mystery when we play it come October 26th. In terms of story, this also makes me ponder because we know John Marston never goes to New Austin until 1911, and I have to believe that maybe sometime in the story the gang splits up, or for whatever reason the Marston family is no longer with Arthur Morgan, which would then make some sense to Arthur Morgan heading to New Austin either with some of the gang or by himself, but obviously, that's an assumption and some speculation. Anyway, it looks like this upcoming western title is much bigger than expected based on comments coming from PlayStation Access and Hobby Consolas. But I will say, personally, I do find it hard to believe based off of everything that's been shown officially, although both of these companies have obviously had much more of an in-depth look at the game. We've only seen around 10 minutes of footage in total and a few dozen screenshots that Rockstar chose to share publicly. Who knows what they're waiting to reveal and show off in later trailers or gameplay videos or keep as a surprise when the game releases. Either way, this news is very interesting and has me just a little more excited to jump into this world and explore it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the open world and your expectations with how big it is in the comment section below. But thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come. And remember, Outlaws for life.